Hi Pisces and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading from February 9th to the 15th. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot nor will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay? Now let's get your reading started. Can I please get a kiss? Really? Such an ungrateful child. I work, I cook, I clean, and she still can't even give me a kiss when she come home from school. Like, what does a girl got to do around here just to get a simple hello and a kiss? <sighs> Let's see. Please tell me about Pisces in love from November, I mean, not November, February 15th through the February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. No, I'm not taking that. Too many cards. Please tell me about Pisces in love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Pisces. Here we go. Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, Pisces. So far, this is a pretty good spread. So far. But let's see what happens when I start clarifying because you know everything could change. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Wheel. We have the Five of Cups and the Four of Wands. And we have the Ace of Cups and the World. Okay. I guess the reason why I said it was a pretty good reading uh, spread is because somebody here is miserable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would make some of you guys happy to know that the other person is miserable. But it looks like here that there was some, there could have been some type of lying. There could have been some type of lying, cheating, being deceitful. You know, and it looks like with the wheel here, it looks like things are going to start changing. And it's changing within your favor because now this person, like I said, they're miserable. This person, there's regret here. I'm feeling, I'm sensing regret. And they want, they're missing you and they want, this person now wants commitment. They want a new start with you. When we have the Ace of Cups. This is a new start in love. And we have the world. A brand new start. So you, some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. 
uh, you could be dealing with an uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, someone here is miserable and they want a new beginning with you. They want this time around, they want commitment. This time around, this person wants commitment. But let's start clarifying because in the past, it looks like this person was, they could have been doing something, they could have been trying to be sneaky. It could have been trying to be sneaky or it could have been negative self-talk, but it was not a good energy. Let's see. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Uh, hold on, Pisces. Go check the rice. Make sure that it's not burning. Is it fine? What about the steak? Yeah, that one. Pour nothing in. Please tell me more, but I'm sorry about that. I got to cook dinner. I got to eat. Remember, I don't got it like that. I can't be going out to eat every single night. I ain't got money like that. Unless you guys want to pay for me to go out every night and eat. I mean, I don't mind. Shit, I'll take your money if you want to do it. Shit. But since that's not, the, but since that's not happening, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cook dinner. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Give you more information on the seven of swords. Okay. Wow, Pisces, this is really a good reading. Now, oh my God, look at this. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star. So some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius here. You don't have to be dealing with one. I'm just saying some of you guys could have been dealing with one. But it looks like this now, this person now wants to cooperate with you. They want a new beginning with you. They want to start new. They want to, they want a new clean slate with you. And it looks like this person, there was some type of healing. Because this person still has faith. But there was some type of healing this person could have needed to go through. Because... I'm going to pull out one more card before I speak on that note right there. On the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. What is this? The Three of Swords in reverse. I knew it. I just needed it. Hold on. Hold on, Pisces. Sorry about that, Pisces, but I'm back. You guys, you guys will understand. I'm pretty sure you guys will forgive me. I'm pretty sure you guys will get over it, too. So, but anyways, I, 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 was, I was sensing that it had to do with this type of situation here. And the reason why I was sensing it, 
something that I had to do with a a broken heart somebody here was hurt somebody you know somebody ended up getting hurt either within your relationship or in the past this person could have gotten hurt and if you know if it was in the past that had nothing to do with you it could have been another relationship or this relationship you know ended up getting they ended up getting hurt somebody here got hurt throughout the process but now this person is now in the three of swords they're now in the three of swords so they're no longer in this energy because the reason why I'm saying this is because with the Aquarius if anyone's dealing with an Aquarius the Aquarius they're going through this process right now where they're they going through some healing because they've been hurt in the past so they needed to heal so they had to go through a process of healing and one of the things that they were doing was negative self-talking. That's what they were doing. There was a lot of negative self-talk, and it all had to do due to the fact that they've been hurt in the past. Now, if you're not dealing with an Aquarius, that's fine. But either way, the fact is that this person was doing a lot of negative self-talk. They were doing a lot of negative self-talk due to the fact of what happened to them in the past where they ended up getting hurt or they had their heart broken and they needed time to heal they needed time to heal so now we have the three of swords in reverse this person has healed and this person still believes in love they still believe in this relationship and that's why they want to come back now and they want to cooperate with you they want to cooperate with you they want to meet you halfway you know they're willing to compromise because they're no longer in this energy, in the Three of Swords energy. They have now healed and they still believe in your relationship and they still believe in love. They still have faith. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here and the Wheel is turning and now it's turning in your favor because now this person has healed. So now it's going within your favor. So let's clarify the Wheel. Please give me more information on the Wheel. Please give me more information on the Wheel. Please get more information on the wheel. Please get more information on the wheel. Please get more information on the wheel. See, this person wanted commitment. See, the fact is that this person actually wanted commitment. They was just too scared and they was hurt from a past relationship or this relationship. That was a whole entire issue, but this person actually does want commitment. Please give me more information on the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Please give me more information on the wheel. Please give me more information on the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Please give me more information on the wheel. 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 Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, look what we have. The Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning. We got it twice, see? They want a new beginning. In love with you. So, we got the Five of Cups again. They're miserable. <laughs> and we have the Four of Wands. They're miserable because they actually want commitment. This person wants it. And... What's this? The two, of, the two of swords in reverse. So this person, at one point, they was avoiding, they was, at one point, this person was being indecisive. That's what they was doing. They was being indecisive at one point. They wasn't making a decision at all. But now, they're making a decision now. Because they no longer can avoid it. Because, guess what? They do love you. They do care about you. And they do want commitment. So, why are you going to continue being indecisive when you're no longer hurting you're already healed at this point you should be able to make a decision already and that's what they're going to do because they want to, they want it they want commitment this person actually wants commitment with you i know right i can't believe it either <laughs> let's find out about the five of cups please get more information on the five of cups why is the five of cups here please get more information on the five of cups 
Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. <laughs> Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. I might as well. And look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords, for me as a reader, is an Aquarius. And we have the star here, which is an Aquarius. That's why I was saying this. You, some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius, but of course you don't have to be. You could be dealing with anybody. It's just the story is very similar to their readings. So look what we have here. So we already know that this person is miserable. So we have the Two of Cups. The Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. This is them kissing ass. That's exactly what it is. And they have to apologize. So this is an apology and them kissing ass at the same time. Because they're in love with you. This person is in love with you. And they want a new beginning with you. They want a fresh new start with you. They want commitment. This person is miserable. Yes, they are. Yes, they are miserable because they know that they're in love with you and they want to be with you. They want commitment. They want this. And they also know that they're going to have to kiss ass when they come back. They're going to have to do some ass kissing. And we have two uh, aces on the spread here. We have the Ace of Cups and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So... This person wants stability, like I said. I mean, we got the Four of Wands in here twice. So let's find out about the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Please get more information on the Four of Wands. Please get more information on the four of wands, please get more information on the four of wands. Why is it why is it what we got here? Well we have the three of wands. They're waiting. This person is waiting. They're waiting on something. We have the eight of pentacles. They're willing to put in the work and we have the seven of wands. So they're gonna work for this. So they so they're willing to put in the work and fight for it. But they're waiting. I don't know what I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some more. Please get more information on the four of wands. Please get more information on the four of wands. Please get more information on the four of wands. Please get more information on the four of wands. They're waiting. For, we got the wheel of fortune. They're waiting on the right time. Divine timing. Well, this is all gonna happen within divine timing. Then they, they're not divine timing because they don't set this up. Hold on, Pisces. back sorry about that uh so yeah basically being with the wheel of fortune here everything's gonna happen when the time is right divine timing so they're waiting so they could be waiting on the right time as well to come towards you but let's find out because everything's gonna happen when it's meant to happen so let's find out about the three of wands please get more information on the three of wands why is the three of wands here please get more information on the three of wands why is the three of wands here? Please get more information on the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Please get more information on the three of wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? 
You get more information on the three of wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Why the three of wands here? Please get more information on the three of wands. What are they waiting for? They're still not telling me what they well. We got the hair font. And we have the Knight of Cups here. Are you some of you guys in a marriage and they're waiting for you to get out of it? Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Why? Here we got the Page of Cups. Them apologizing. Well, they're coming towards you making an offering. They, I, they're waiting on the perfect time. That's what they're doing. They're waiting on the... They're waiting on the good... They're waiting on the good... They're waiting on the time. There is time. They're waiting on the perfect time to come towards you. Because we have the will of fortune here. So everything's going to happen within divine timing. And that's where they're doing it. So we're working. So you're working on their time. When they feel fit, that is the right moment for them to come towards you and make this offering toward to you, because, like I said, this person wants commitment. They they want commitment, and this is a one, and this is a long term relationship that can lead to marriage, because you guys are in love with each other. It's not just this person. Both of you guys are in love with this person. Okay, so. For those of you guys that don't love this person, then I really don't know why you guys are watching this to the crossword. Watchers, if you're watching the Pisces reading, but yet you don't want nothing to do with them, you're not in love with them. I really don't know why you're watching this, their reading. But for those of you guys that are watching and you do love this person, you want this person back, they're coming back. This person is coming back to you because they're in love. Both of you guys are in love. It's not just one person, both you guys. This is not a one-sided situation. This person is in love with you as much as you are with them. Please get more information on this Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Okay, there's too many damn cards that came out. And look, we got wifey. We got the lovers. Lord. Okay, this is how I see this going now. So, we got the lovers right here. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. Looking all nice and sexy and shit. Mm -hmm. And you single right now. Living. You got, um, I'm living. With, uh, how does the damn song? Uh, living single. I forgot how the damn song goes. But either way, you're single. You're independent. You got you. You're financially stable. You're abundant within your own right. You, some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, and but you're not gonna be single very long. Sorry to tell you, Pisces, because we have the Queen of Pentacles, and who's the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles is the wifey of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles, she is wifey. This is wifey right here. Okay, so you're going from being single to being a wife or a husband, hubby, because this is wifey. For the queen of pentacles, she cooks, she cleans, she works, she pays the bills, she takes care of the house, she she knows her worth, she knows her value, she demands respect because she deserves it, and you cannot tell her shit. And she's a very confident person. This is a very confident woman. She's very confident, and she's loving and nurturing, and she's a, and she's a wifey of the deck. And you go from being a single, because the Nine of Pentacles is a single person. This is a single person. So you're going from a single person to a wife. Yes. And like I said, they want commitment. They want marriage. And this is a long-term relationship that could turn into a marriage. Because they're in love. I mean, you got the lovers clarifying the Ace of Cups. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody single that is now turning into the Queen of Pentacles. This person offering you stability. Because that's what they're doing. They're offering you stability here. Stability which includes being in a marriage. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
my friend, she's a Pisces, yes. And her man been telling her already that he wants to get married, that he wants to get married. And look, it's coming out in her spread. It's coming out because she's also a Pisces. They're together, but they're not married, and he wants to get married already. I'm going to have to text her and tell her to listen to the Pisces reading. Let's see. Let's find out about the world. Please give me more information on the world. Please give more information on the world. Why is the world here? Please give more information on the world. Please give more information on the world. Please give more information. Okay. So, we have temperance here. Things that need to be balanced out. It needs to be an equal give and take here. We have burdens that are being released. Ten of Wands. Either this person could have been stressed out or you could have been stressed out, overwhelmed. And we have the Nine of Swords. So this person is also kind of nervous. They could be kind of nervous just as well. Please get more information on the world. Why is the world here? Please get more information on the world. Please get more information on the world. Please get more information on the world. See, this person, they could be nervous because they're starting new with you. I mean, this is a whole time new beginning. We're talking marriage here. So, of course, this, this person is going to be scared. They're going to be shitting rocks here. They're going to be scared because it's a whole time new territory you guys are moving into. This is a brand new beginning. You know, things are going to be an equal give and take. Healing needs to take place. Healing has taken place. But the relationship, the situation between the both of you guys, that also, excuse me, that also needs to take place as well. And any burden, stress, uh, you know, you guys taking on other people, other people's burdens or being stressed out, overwhelming, overwhelming, overwhelmed with things, that's also being released here. You're releasing that. But yet, they still nervous. Even though, because you're heading in, I mean, this is a new direction you guys are heading. And we got the Queen of, uh, Queen, the Queen of Rods. I like saying Queen of Wands because it sounds better versus the Queen of Rods. I don't like that. And this is, a, you know, Queen of Wands. And this person feels very passionate about this. Yes, they're nervous. Yes, they're kind of scared. But they're very passionate about this. They want to move forward with you. They want this. They scared, but they know this is what they want. They're very confident. They're confident that this is what they want with you. This person is very confident. Because the Queen of Wands, she's confident and she's also ambitious and she's also passionate about things. So when she wants things, she goes after things. She's very she's a very passionate person. So this person is very passionate about this. So they may be scared and nervous, but they still feel passionate about being with you. They're very confident. So Pisces, this is a great ass reading. This is great. Congratulations, Pisces. This is good. For those of you guys that don't know, well, now you know you are getting married. And I was the one that told you first. Because I already told my friend yesterday. And she's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, nah, girl. Is gonna happen. So, this is great, Pisces. This is a wonderful reading. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I did say it was gonna be a new, a good reading, right? I did say it was gonna be a good, good reading. I mean, it's because they was miserable. <laughs> Please give me a guidance message for Pisces. 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 Here we go. Chosen. Make a difference in people's lives. There you go, Pisces. Okay. So this is all I have for you guys. I will, I will see you guys again for your weeklies. Take care. Be safe. And stay cool, Pisces. Bye.